Hello, this is Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Vinland with the El Dorado expansion, custom nation of American Vikings. So what we did in the last episode, not much. We conquered Beglana, but we chose to vassalize them diplomatically because they are small and um, it would have cost us a lot of diplomatic points to just annex them. Did I say it correctly? Yes, I, I think so. Right, never mind. So we have a new leader, finally. He's far better than the previous one because we made him horrible to get more points for our nation. And we are we are just colonizing and expanding a little bit. We could actually be colonizing two provinces at the same, at the same time. And I think we have some money stockpiled, so this might be the time to do that. So let's recall this colonist. Let this province finish uh, on its own. And let's send our colonist to loop here. Why this province? So we can access all those lands and conquer them. Because we are conquerors. Vikings are conquerors. Alright. So we sent our colonists. We should actually send some troops as well. Just so that they don't get killed. So let's improve, increase maintenance. We'll be losing money for a while. If we start losing too much, oh, we make negative three each month. Is that so? Yes, negative three each month. So that means um, we have... Um, how many years? That's three, three times ten, that's forty. We have five years of uh, not going under, but... We are going to conquer some new lands, so this might increase, or our income might, might increase. We can always fire an advisor. I think quick expansion is more important at this point. Well, actually, let's, let's maybe fire an advisor. Which one is useless for us? The diplomatic advisor is useless for us at the moment, so let's fire him. We'll get some more time uh, to, to, until we run out of money. Okay, um, first we should probably exterminate the natives here, because I'm not sure if we can um, afford to leave an army in this province. Or maybe we can. Yeah, let's not worry about it. Just go this way, because all those countries are... Oh! Do we want a new uh, colony with 200 settlers, on the, or do we want 50 settlers in a colony that we already possess? Where is this province? Seeper can should be somewhere here. Oh, it's here. We want to colonize it. Uh, yes, definitely. But should we be doing three provinces at the same time? We can't afford it. So we can either um, abandon loop or um, or not take a new, one, new settlement. Alternatively, I have an idea. Let's get a new settlement here. Then attack Cyprus, conquer them, core the province, start coring the province, abandon the colony of Loop, and continue with those two colonies. This should should work, we will see. Maybe it doesn't. We'll see if that works. But then we have to hurry with the war, so you guys start fabricating a claim on them. We will let event uh, stay here for a few months, so we don't lose too much money in in the course of that. You guys move through here and to here. Oh, this is the automatic option, so I will just leave this open so that it happens as late as possible. And we are going to be abandoning this colony anyway, so let's recall the colonist and send him back here, so this uh, this finishes quicker. Right, so now we just have to wait for our claim to finish and assign a leader. Let's get a normal one. Right. Mm, remove... Oh! Wonderful! We have a mission to remove Cyprus from the map. This will actually give us a claim quicker. So we can start uh, the war immediately. So, stop for beginning claim, because we already have it. Remove Cyprus from the map. We'll get some aggressive expansion, maybe even a coalition, but we're significantly stronger than them, probably. This shouldn't be a problem. Oh, they have quite a good general. 
and we should leave at least uh, one regiment of troops uh, to protect the colony. But I think we can win, win this anyway. So you are ready. Let's declare a war. Oh, they are going to call in their allies, so we won't be able to finish this war early. But uh, yes, so that's uh, that's here down here. Right. Do you have any allies? Cyprus and Marwar. Marwar is this one. Can we fight all three? Can we fight all three? Probably not. But we could if they were divided. They will have to go through uh, uncolonized lands and they will suffer attrition when coming to our coming to us. You know what? Let's kill the natives here. Is it a good choice? Probably not. Okay, we will only need one regiment here, so let's leave one regiment here. The other one gets uh, to the front lines. And let's actually declare war and not call them as co-belligerent. They are small enough so we can enforce all the demands we want, even if they are not co-belligerent. And the other allies we will fight later. So, let's go. Cyprus, declare war, not co-belligerent, conquest ready, go. They have a two-star general, but hopefully we can win the battle, because we have a severe numbers advantage. Okay, we lost a battle against the natives, and our colony was damaged. Oh, that's the new colony we got. Oh, damn it. It triggered when they were coming through. Why didn't I think about this? About this? And we're losing, uh, losing 13 ducats a month. We can afford to stay in this war for a year and a bit, but we don't want to stay longer. So um, my course of action was actually not too smart. Should I abandon this colony? We have a hundred settlers here. We could abandon this one, but they won't, then we will be unable to call the province. You know what? Let's abandon this colony and then we can recolonize it when we need to. You guys go and protect this province here. You have full morale, you should be able to. Oh no, it should be alright on its own. After the war we will get our troops back there. Okay, we are sieging Cyprus. Is this uh, yes, a level 1 fort? Detach siege and go into the enemy's lands. We will suffer a bit of attrition going through. But they are much smaller than us, they shouldn't have an army that could pose a threat. Can we get some mercenaries? No, not in North America. No, we can. Uh, why was I, I was wrong? Right, so we can actually... Elephant archers! How is it possible in North America? <laughs> right, we don't have any cavalry, so this actually might be a good idea. So let's get some mercenaries. We'll get a severe advantage in combat. We will disband them later. So let's get two units of mercenary cavalry. No, just one unit and two units of regular clubmen. So, yeah. And we will exterminate the natives in this province so that we can move through it freely without uh, incurring their wrath again. Right, and... Okay, forces are ready. Merge with ours. Detach a siege and then move into the territory of Patseis, Pakeis, something like that. Oh, you are moving into our territory actually. Okay, we'll follow you. Detach siege and follow them. You're trying to siege our capital, but you have low morale and you are getting attrition, so we'll. We should crush you. They have higher morale than us, interesting. Oh, can we get there in time? Didn't leave enough troops. Damn it. I'm used to seeing much more of the map than, than at the moment. Alright. So we have wiped one of their armies and severely damaged the other. So we should be able to just carpe siege them. They still have low morale. Maybe we'll wipe them. Probably not, but maybe. Oh, they're getting reinforcements. We might actually lose this one. It's tough. They have good rolls. Okay, we won. That was... we almost lost. If we can get them before they recover any morale, 
will instantly kill them. Oh, damn it. And we get a revolt. That was a horrible course of action. Shouldn't have followed them. Because we have had very low morale as well, and I didn't take that into account. Right, so we have to rebuild our army, unfortunately. We can't uh, stay here, because they will crush us. Hopefully we can get uh, back through the native land without uh, dying to the natives. Okay, let's get more armies. We'll have to re refrain from attacking anyone else for quite some time, because we will... Muslim cavalry, what is that? Eastern knights. <laughs> okay, we'll have to refrain from attacking anyone else um, for quite a while, because we won't have the manpower to do so. Our vassal is not helping us, not surprising. They are weak themselves. Okay, we are colonizing those pretty nicely. You guys go. Okay. We have finished the siege of Cyprus, and when you combine those armies, they should be enough to attack um, pa pa Pacaeus, Pacaeus, something like that. A revolt, where, where, where? And natives rising. And we've taken a loan. Oh, it's. We're doing um, far worse than I thought we would be. Okay, we will take care of that after the war, because we have to finish the war quickly. You guys merge, get a leader. It's just one shock. We have quite a lot of military power. Well, let's roll another leader. Maybe he'll be better. He is. He has maneuver as well. So we can fire the other one so that he doesn't drain our power points. Okay, you guys move into the enemy land. Why are you going through here? Go the quicker route. Right, no natives. We lost that battle. Oh, sorry, won the battle, won another battle. Is that all your army? Or did you move into our lands somehow? Let's leave an army here and crush them. We won. Let's see if they have any armies. They do, but they are somewhere else. So let's be vigilant and observe. If they come out of hiding, we have to act quickly. Let's split the troops and send some here. So we will have time to react if we are attacked. Right. Let's observe vigilantly. How are our colonies doing? Almost colonized. A little bit worse here. Another loan. Or perhaps we should disband the mercenary cavalry because it's costing us quite a lot of money. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, select the army. Then detach mercenaries. Disband mercenaries. And after the war we will... Mm, I mean, we will pay off the loans after we've finished one of our colonies, because then we will just keep one for the time being and until we can recover financially. It's It went a bit differently than I planned, but... What can you do? Right, so you guys are coming. You're probably going to siege Cyprus or attack me down here. If you attack me down here, I, we will be able to defend because we have a larger army. If you intend to siege, we also should be victorious because we have started quite a while ago. So we should have an advantage. Unless you have a siege general, do you? Oh, you do have a siege general. Rebel successful. Oh crap, that's not doing... we're not doing too well. Okay, it's enough that if we mm, siege one of the provinces, maybe, because we want vassalization, we won't be able to core them anyway. How are you doing? You're doing better than we are. I will actually stay here, siege everything, financial disagreements. Do you want to gain inflation and money, or lose stability and gain, gain money? Huh. <laughs> Let's gain inflation, we can also always get rid of it later. Alright. Okay, you're still at 3 and we are at 10 and 8, so we might be able to siege... Uh, oh, you're 5. We might be able to finish our sieges earlier, but it's not very likely that we succeed in both of them. 
so nothing to do for now. When we finish the, if, okay, we finished one. You guys move up. Perhaps, uh, perhaps we can vassalize you. Are you weak enough? No, we, we won't accept it yet. Okay, so let's hope to finish this siege quickly. Not yet. 42%. We have 50, so day one. Unfortunate. Let's finish the siege and then take back our capital. Unfortunately, we're getting a lot of war exhaustion due to not controlling our capital and our income has plummeted as well. Mm. Cyprus has entered a new military alliance with Abenaki. Where are you? Oh, this tiny guy here. Never mind about that. Right, so you get back to the capital. Maybe take those armies to help you, at least one of them. We don't need both here. Colonization almost complete. Oh, you're going through the southern region. So I have no idea why. Because Maybe because it's faster, but when you have to fight all of them, it isn't faster. Right, so we're not doing too well on the rebels. Should have hard, harsh treated them. Let's harsh treat those, because we can't afford to fight on every front at the moment. Vinland peasants lowered taxes. More autonomy, lose prestige. Not tragic, we will take care of them in a moment, as soon as we win the war. I mean, I think we can win the war. <laughs> so what do we need to do? We need to siege our capital back. Can we peace you out? Oh, you will actually peace out, because uh, we've taken all of your mm, things. What is that? XXX. But they give up all claims in something. So, okay, we found a bag, bug already. Uh, because, uh, yeah, that's a new game, so new release. Right, so we'll take some money, force their religion, and make them our vassal. And we don't have to worry about fighting them, and they get a sizable army, which is now ours. Now, should we, mm, should we annex Cyprus? Actually, I think we should annex them, or we could take a lot of money from them and vassalize. 5% war score. No, 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 let's just annex them. And then we probably won't be able to core them because uh, they're not adjacent to us. But we will take care of that by colonizing this province, starting coring, and then abandoning the colonization. Or maybe we will be able, let's see. No, we can't, because we are out of range, we are not adjacent. Let's increase autonomy so they don't revolt. And focus on our army for now on defeating the rebels. As soon as we finish this colony, we will send our colonists to establish a colony here for a while, so we can start coring, and then mm, retract him and send him over here. Wasn't there a nation here? I, I'm almost sure that there was a nation here. Oh, never mind. Okay. Um, Alright, maybe we can take our vassal with us. Colony self-sustaining. Great. So we have a free colonist now. We can send him here. We don't want to be maintaining two colonies at the same time, but we only need it to start coring which it should let us do. You guys go and get and kill the peasants. As soon as the colonist arrives, this button should become available. Why are you taking so much time? It's just adjacent to our capital. Almost adjacent. Right. Mm, siege. Seventeen more days. Yes, now we can core. We started coring, now we can recall the colonist. And send him to this colony so it finishes quicker. And let's mm, amass an army here because this has... Oh, this has been colonized but we still need to core it. Good thing we chose Odin. Alright. So you guys siege. Let's leave some troops here. Maybe even half of that. Do we have any mercenaries? Probably not, but let's check. Army maintenance. Mercenaries is zero. Alright, and we can actually lower maintenance. Not to the minimum, but... Oh no. Uh, when this army here arrives in this province... Oh, 
we were supposed to abandon that. Yes. Now we can lower maintenance because they are, are unlikely to rise up again. Well, you know what? Let's just get rid of the natives, exterminate them, and lower maintenance because we really have to watch our financial situation at the moment. We have to regain our cash reserves and then mm, repair, repay our loans. So we are covering that. We should be able to fabricate a claim on this soon. Oh, we can do it already. So let's. You are allied with Marwar and Kashmir. <laughs> it's so weird that they are in North America. This is Abenaki, this is Kashmir, so we are allied with Massachusetts here, which is a juicy province that we want. And Marwar is this uh, pink guy here. So what we'll do, if we declare war on Grenada, we'll vassalize the pink guy over here and um, probably take those provinces. We should be able to court that because we are almost adjacent to it through sea. And if we can't, we will worry about it then. And this is an important natural harbor, which will add to our income. So we won the war. We're doing quite all right. I think this is enough for this episode. I thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.